Hello everyone and welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick, a speedrunning marathon held for charity for Doctors Without Borders. Doctors Without Borders is an international medical humanitarian organization created by doctors and journalists in France in 1971. Today, they provide independent impartial assistance in more than 60 countries to people whose survival is threatened by violence, neglect, or catastrophe, primarily due to armed conflict, epidemics, malnutrition, exclusion from healthcare, or natural disasters. In 1999, Doctors Without Borders received the Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts. Give you a little info about the people hosting this event. We are being hosted by Speed Demos Archive, the premier community for video game speedruns, completing games as quickly as possible through extensive planning, practice, knowledge, of game mechanics and glitches. And we are also being hosted by members of Speedruns Live, the best site to race video games against online to race video games online against others. Players of all skill levels are welcome to join, whether you'd like to become competitive or just race casually with friends. You can go to their front page, speedrunslive.com, for more information and to watch a variety of speedrun streams. So we've got a few donations here. We have $75 from Austin Dinault. I absolutely love you guys. Money for a good cause. Keep up the good work. Thank you. We have $50 from Satori. Just saying thank you for this event. Thank you for the donation. We have $35 from Hinata Hikari. This is a small donation. May it help those who are in need. We have a $100 donation from Dexter. Thank you. Glasses and things yeah. on there. Expensive equipment and me and PJ. What? <laughs> No. Uh, we might need a volume adjustment on this. Do we want the volume adjustment? I might guess. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Um, did you want to try it before or after? Nah. No? Nah. Okay. Okay, we're, we're fine whenever. Well, character selection screen, we'll do a countdown. Yeah. Remember the one time we were in the intro and it was going backwards? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was doing this, the, the screen's backwards. Uh, that was nice. I'll, I'll... All right. Uh, three, two, one, go. Okay, so as always, uh, we have to begin this run by thanking the Russian community. Because even though this is probably, in my opinion, the greatest co-op speed game on the NES, nobody in America runs it but us. But it's like really popular in Russia and um, they've been super helpful with collaboration. Um, so we want to give a big thank out, uh, a big shout out to Valentin and Igor. And uh, also, of course, Fios who made the tasks. Um, uh. It's fine, you're, you'll be okay. <laughs> so the thing with this game is that dash attacks are <laughs> super, super strong. And um, you're not supposed to be able to use them in the air or on ladders or stuff like that, but the game, the game can be tricked really, really what easily. What where are these like guys' hitboxes? I can't you... go down there. Um, so we can do a dash jump and use our <laughs> dash attacks. Am in I the grabbing air. the toaster? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, no. I didn't know what to do there. I yeah, I <laughs> don't attack. Don't attack. <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha. 
Yeah, my jump animation lasts for so long, I can just mash and never move. Um, so in, in stark contrast to our previous uh, GDQ run of this game, we're going to... I thought he just died. He did. <laughs> I just killed him. That's yours. Oh, right. Um, we're gonna try to not glitch it as much. We're gonna try and show you what an actual speedrun looks like. <laughs> Um, but the one time we tried a serious attempt, it was glitchier than anything we've ever done. <laughs> so, um, that's, that's our intent going into this. We'll see how it plays out. I had to hold back. I was, I was wanting to use so hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's understandable. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. No, it missed. All right, so when you do the dash attack, um, well, when you dash and you're near a capsule, it'll try and use the finisher, so either the boot or the knee press. But if you do an air dash, you can kick him, I too. got this guy again. I got him, I got him. I, I saw something I wanted to hit. It wasn't you. <laughs> Don't attack, please. <laughs> That'll work. So we can do an air dash and then uh, target the capsule. No. <laughs> well, you got Why? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, we can do an air dash and then target the capsule and it'll carry the finisher through the air. And um, we can land on enemies with it then and kill them. That wasn't a it's grab. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Nice. Like that. That kick is that was, really hard to do. That was good. I got him. All right. That's health, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> this is also a very laggy game. Um, every time we hit him with these, the, the smash attacks, so the headbutt, or um, the kick, or the boot. Um, there's like a really loud crunching noise. <laughs> that... <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my fault. I probably deserve that anyway, so. <laughs> don't, don't, don't attack. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a one hit if it hits me, so I died from that. I missed it. It's fine, there's help. <laughs> Um, so, ideally, we want to avoid using the, the attacks, the crunchy attacks, as much as possible. Um, so just like hitting them softly with uh -oh. the stick won't do it. Oh, no. Oh, god. Uh, okay. So no, that, that was I called a, a ladder dash. I'll take this one. I did not dash. Uh, you should get those. Oh, uh, yeah, well, too late. It's too late now. So, <laughs> this, this is another place you're not supposed to be able to carry dash. Um, but you can air dash into a bike and then hold the A button, and um, for some reason you can continuously dash attack then and do this. So, I would have killed you if I did another one, so I can yeah. help back. Thanks for not doing that. I'll get you back later. <laughs> you already did. I'll get you back again. We still got stage four. Oh god, we do. <laughs> uh, well, so in this section, um, the good. whole turbo tunnels thing is timed. It's on just one big timer. So you could just not kill those guys at all, and then you'll still finish the level. Well, you'll still get to blag at the same time. Um, if you kill them early, it fills up time by giving you these capsules. So if we do it as fast as possible, um, we should get three extra lives, and what, I think we should here. What's the strat we're gonna do? Uh, I'll try the single player strat, and then we'll panic when it doesn't work. Okay. Sounds good to me. Here's hoping. <laughs> Manic. 
Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, I'll try again. Nice. Yeah, so, um... <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Deserved. <laughs> Dash in time. You just hit her. Alright. Cool. So on um, the first two bosses, Abobo and Big Black, we killed them way earlier than you're supposed to. They take a lot of hits to kill, but there's a brief moment after you hit them where they're, um, they're stunned and the game kind of counts them as being knocked on the ground. Um, so if you, if you dash to them, if you get to them quick enough, you can actually use your finisher. Um, so that's what I did on both of them. Nice. Okay. Oh no, oh, no. please. <laughs> save me. I'm not save saving me. you. <laughs> <laughs> you can come back from this, right? Yeah, uh, I don't remember how to. Um, oh, I, I think I remember. You hold, it's either down or up, I think right? I hold down. When I is it, one is it down them. or up? I don't know. I think it's down. All right. Okay. All right, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get that to work in so long. Like, uh oh, I don't know. Panic. please don't kill me. <laughs> Your punishment is not getting health. That's fine. <laughs> oh my god, that was so scary. <laughs> Something horrible is going to happen. <laughs> um, I would try and explain what happened there, but we don't really know. Fios knows. You can ask him if you want. More or less, we did that section too fast, and the arrow wasn't able to go off screen in time. And then, for some reason, if Mega Richter kills him, he oh, thank god. turns into... Sometimes I fall right through the floor and die. <laughs> <laughs> what stopped my I'll jump? I'll save you. Thanks. I get a uh, three. You need the health. Yeah. <sighs> Easy. <laughs> I got her. Yep. <clears throat> Take her. Um, we'll kill this Linda. All right. I don't want to no. activate Super Saiyan mode. We gonna ladder oh, dash this? I tried the bail, but um, is this a safe one? Really? What are we doing? Easy. <laughs> I can't dash with this controller anymore. <laughs> Bebop just sometimes decides it doesn't want to dash. It's his controller's name. Yeah. <laughs> I got her. All right. Wait for it. <laughs> um, I'll take the first one. I'll get the second. Oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't kill me, don't we, kill me. <laughs> we're trying to fix the schedule here, we're too far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, that might be enough. Collision detection was disabled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I catch you're... up on points there. I easy, almost, easy. Yeah. I've seen you end with four hundred thousand. <laughs> All right. Um, this might be an okay time for donations. Okay. We've got a forty dollar donation from Nate Seven. I took the day off work just to see PJ and Mecha run Battletoads and Double Dragon. Smash borders with your huge donations. Got a $35 donation from Danny Zero. Loving the speedruns I've seen. AGDQ 2013 was the first one I mostly watched live, and it made me eager to catch SGDQ this year. Um, Thanks to everyone involved. Including that one? Two more. Okay. Well, we do it here, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, I forgot. Nice. Uh, let's not do this. Yeah. One. 
Please hit the birds, me. <laughs> so in this section, you can do um, some really cool tricks called Void Jump. Um, I was supposed to die there, wasn't yeah. I? You got it. The pit's over there, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So if you jump the frame that um, you're at the bottom, the very, very, very bottom of the screen, you can jump out of pits. And you can actually cross that entire gap by just doing void jumps the whole way across. Uh, the most I've ever done is three, and it takes 10 to get across. It's, so it's 21. It's, yeah, it's 21 frame perfect inputs to do the whole thing. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we did that, I tried to open up the capsule and punched my character through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> the you can do that with the elbow, too. You can just yeah. elbow him right through the floor. <laughs> it is a spectacular game. There's, like, no lag in this area of uh, single player. Yeah. It doesn't help that we keep all the birds on screen. Yeah. Well, it's, like, impossible to get one up with these guys. Sorry, I kicked you. <clears throat> All right. Don't ladder dash. <laughs> I'm serious this time. I will unplug your controller and play this game myself. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop it. Um. Yep. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> <laughs> it's why is it's it so such easy? Habit. <laughs> why is it so easy to do on that one? Uh, I don't know. I'll take the right side. All right. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Two here. Yeah. After this one. Two after this one. Okay. Uh, no. All right. I was kidding. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that was your last one. <laughs> That's it. You're flying your ship alone. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Good luck, us. Broke eight of them, right? I, yeah, I think we did. <laughs> Shotgun in the wrong direction. <laughs> All right. So in this stage, you can fire uh, more bullets than the game can allow, and it just like stops displaying all sprites for a moment. And you can just like keep mashing through there, and uh, it'll eventually catch up and just fire all of the bullets at once. And it's. <laughs> It's really, really ridiculous. It's probably stronger than the missile. I... Or as strong. You can have this one? Just kidding. <laughs> I'll get none from these. Yeah. These things kill you in one hit, so we usually don't want to get hit by them. You usually don't want to get hit by Yeah. <laughs> when do you want to get hit by these? <laughs> I'm gonna knock you into them. I don't know if I trust you being my partner anymore. One up. Wow, one yeah. one up. We usually get two. Yeah, you can get up to three. Yeah, There's PJ the usually blows up the last one. <laughs> <laughs> that was his first shot. He took shot. the entire shotgun. Get some. Wow, that was a good wave. So we don't use missiles, right? Uh, no. Just buffer them? Well, you don't... I usually wait until the... That... Yeah. <laughs> you stole all my shots. Sorry. I needed them. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not scared. <laughs> the 
shotgun is way too ridiculous. Best rat chip ever? Yeah, it was pretty close. Really? No. <laughs> Don't do that again, please. <laughs> uh, you kill the first guy. Okay. Lev. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm in the wrong spot, so... Yep, goodbye. Nope. So, <laughs> this stage... Remember, it did this, Yeah, hold holding. down. <laughs> this stage has a serious problem. <laughs> And uh, if you ladder dash here, but push down, or release down rather, at the wrong time, you shift your Z-plane, and there is no there is no Z in this stage. There's only and, uh, a question mark. <laughs> it lets you jump, it, well, you'll, you'll see. But basically, if we do a ladder dash... Yes, we got the door. Oh, nice. Are we gonna limbo? Uh, I'm going up. Okay. So if we, oh wow, okay. if we do that, uh, but hit the wrong frame on that, enemies will chase us out of bounds, because for some reason they're able to just shift along the z-axis whenever they want. Yeah, you saw what happened in Double Dragon Advance, the same thing yeah. happens. <laughs> yeah, they will literally run out of bounds to chase us and never come back. Uh. Easy now. All right, I can do the, well, whatever. I'll get the first one. Okay. I was kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna help. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to limbo now. <laughs> I almost. <laughs> Oh, you're supposed to, uh, yeah. At least the capsule spawned this time. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes the capsule despawns, and it's it's unfortunate, because we need lives. Yeah. Well, normally we do. For some reason, we haven't died much here. Why would you say that right here? That's fine. <laughs> That collector will get us. Dark Queen, you mean? Yeah. This is, oh, okay. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I, uh, I'm, I'm scared. on the wrong team. <laughs> These rats are too strong. Yeah. Do you want a Puppet Master? Uh, sure. Need help? All right, yeah. <laughs> Come on. All right, that'll do. <laughs> oh, they're stuck. Now. Oh, they spotted kill. it. Yeah. They figured us out. Wait, I got them. What? Oh, you got the, that's a frame perfect yeah. hit. If you hit them on the frame, they spawn. They they get hit, but they don't take damage. Oh, they're all right. I've never seen you do that on those windows. I'll help. Uh, I don't like your help. <laughs> nice throw. Thanks. Nice throw. <laughs> <laughs> again. <laughs> I'm really surprised Crushed. you didn't get the other thing. Yeah, uh, I was expecting the other thing, yeah. honestly. Uh, if you get like the very bottom pixel of it, you'll die, but you'll still go through the door. And when you enter the room, you just fall over and die. Well, Actually, you, you I fall you... over and it, it gives a dead animation, but then you stand back up and you still have no health. 
Uh, the game obviously is not prepared to handle that kind of thing. Do not climb this ladder, please. Yeah. <laughs> Bad things happen with that ladder. Unbreakable window? I'll show you how to throw them through. Oh, oh yeah? <laughs> Punched right through the top of the ship. So right. are you good doing one, two? Yeah. All right. One first. Hit him. Yeah. Uh, he's over really far. All right. All right. All right. Easy. <laughs> Flatten. <laughs> You're lucky you didn't jump. You're <laughs> I'll, I'll catch you. Uh oh. <laughs> Panic. <laughs> I thought you were the enemy. <laughs> Sometimes I am. Are we doing the. No, we shouldn't. No, we shouldn't. Yeah. Heal soft lock. Yeah. On the other hand. We can try the out of bounds. <laughs> nah, we can't. We can't do the out of bounds. I don't think. Can't or just hasn't wanted us to do it for a while. <laughs> we need three sticks anyway. I broke yours. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you have three sticks in this area and all the enemies. It lags really, really bad. Yeah. And you can just casually walk out of bounds. It's not really walk as much as you fall. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? Don't attack the enemy. I'm attacking. <laughs> Accidents happen. Sometimes you grab the enemy that's, like, over here. Yeah. So when you're over there. Not my fault. Um, you got him? All right. So Shadow Boss, um, he has Double Dragon Advance AI, and once he once he found his target, he's not going to give up. So he is he has his heart set on attacking me, and he he can't. <laughs> so he's just going to keep walking over to me and then get under the lamp and stay there. And he doesn't even notice that Mecha Richter hit, is kicking him. Hit the lamp a couple times. Yeah, should be good. Maybe. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty ridiculous ridiculous strat. Is this the last one? Uh, I think maybe. I think it is. Nope. Uh oh, I was kidding. <laughs> okay, this will work. <laughs> You also have him keep doing that attack over and over if you do a light punch, but yeah, it's kind of hard to do. You have to like turn around and hit him. Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> <Almost> Dodge. <laughs> I got him. Just kidding. Where's your guy? He's there. He's up there too. <laughs> no, I'm up here. <laughs> oh, perfect. That guy's still alive. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Now there's some uh, manipulation I'm gonna try to do here, but it's really, really difficult. <laughs> was really, really early. I've never seen her go down that quickly, though. Wow. Oh, we're just going to do that uh, now? No, nah, I'll try again. She's still slow enough, I think. Yeah. If I can dash. <laughs> yeah, capsule. capsule. All right, I will help them. Yeah. 
What was that noise? noise? <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that our game? I hope not. I really hope not. I've never heard that noise no, before. I, never, <laughs> never in my life heard that noise. Um, <laughs> the wow. ship has begun to move. <laughs> So what I was trying to do at the start was manipulate her uh, AI, so I would hit her at the right timing, she would uh, go down very, very slowly. And if I hit her too quickly, she like zips down as fast as possible. Yeah, you hit her like right after she starts already going down. Yeah, And um, you gotta be really precise. She'll just, just stop and... Uh, My best is two cycles, which is really, really good. Yeah. Surprise Pitbull. <laughs> That's time, by the way. Yeah, time. Was it? 27? Oh, that's that's not bad. Yeah. It didn't glitch. Um, it, yeah, and it didn't glitch on us. Yeah, it it didn't glitch did. on us, huh? Well. <laughs> what about the space shuttle launch at the end? Um, yeah. Should I? Should I try to? All right, I'll give it. I'll give it one shot. There's a super secret, not not a secret at all, really. Super special uh, trick in this game, and I was practicing it earlier. We'll see how it goes. I have to input the stage select code first. There we go. <laughs> My controller didn't know what I was doing. I had to tell it. So if you go into this stage, um, I told you before that um, this whole thing's on a timer. So the, the capsule wave and the thug wave and all that will just end automatically after a while. If you, if you take a thug to the boss though, um, the game has absolutely no idea how to handle it. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do here. It's like, it takes about a minute to time out that wave, so it's gonna be a bit monotonous. You could read some donations if you'd like. Okay. We have $50 from the Nerd Wonder. Here's $50 because I don't think the line, we need to fix the schedule, we're too far ahead, has ever been said before. <laughs> we have $20 from Kyle McGuffin. This is my first time watching a GDQ live. Had to donate during the serious run of Battletoads and Double Dragon. Still hilariously fun. We have $20 from Sage Hero. Awesome run to Mecha and PJ. Controllers were definitely hurt in the filming of this speed run. This goes to Fusion 1%. We have $20 from uh, something, Carl Brosau. Okay. Great event for a great cause. Keep it up. We have fifty dollars from Rage Quit. This is it. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Whenever you get a chance to uh, perfect. Switching DX was out of his box. Is it up on? What? Is it up on? Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. That One was, kick that away. Was robbery. <sighs> That's a shame. Uh, How far ahead of schedule are we? I could try it once more. How? What's our schedule like? All right, I'll do one. I'll do one more try. Right. It's it's worth it's it. It's definitely I promise. worth it. You can keep reading donations. <laughs> uh, actually, real quick, I have an announcement. We have another bonus game added. If we meet $5,000 towards this donation, we will be playing Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Nice. Awesome. One kick away. <laughs> Told you Debt Collector would get us. <laughs> I will get the Debt Collector. <laughs> Don't challenge him. <laughs> You can go ahead with donations if you have yep. any. Yep. We have $50 from Rage Quit. Super Ghouls and Ghosts will be on here at 1 a.m. and I have an early meeting, but I have to see those weapon drops. P 
P.S. PJ and Mecha Richter are the best block. The ultimate team. <laughs> ultimate chaos. If we have any more, you can you can keep going. If not, I will just keep jumping around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is pretty entertaining, actually. <laughs> You're just trying to shake your hand. Come on, please. Ah, uh, missed it. That's too bad. He disappears really, really fast once this section starts because the game doesn't want him around anymore. Yeah. Um, it's probably not worth it to keep trying. Yeah. But what what will happen is right here the game will lag super, super hard and it'll say level 7-1 at the top and it will spawn every single enemy in 7-1 simultaneously plus the boss of stage 5. Yeah, for some reason Robo Menace and Darkwing, uh, they share the... They share the same uh, value. Yeah. They're the only two enemies in the game that do that. Yeah, so it spawns all of them and that, why am I playing? <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it spawns all of them, but it spawns them 40,000 pixels to the left. But because of the way that collision detection works in this game, the game doesn't care. So as long as your relative screen positions are the same, you'll get attacked by them. Or while you're attacking, you'll just like pick up a green android from nowhere. And uh, it's it's a huge mess. And the stage ends if it has a free slot open, I think. Yeah. The values. Yeah. The game once a sprite slot is available, the game ends because it can't spawn. Well, it, the stage ends. What I say, game? Yeah. More or less, game. <laughs> yeah, the stage we were, ends we once. We were it hoping we could beat the game. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's it then. Yeah. We can uh, we can get out of it. Yeah. Thank you, PJ and Mecha Richter. Coming up next, we have a race of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Tur Turtles in Time, by Sinister One and Maikuyama. Real quick, we're going to run a commercial, but we'll be right back. Hello everyone and welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick, a speedrunning charity marathon held by Speed Demos Archive and Speedruns Live, benefiting Doctors Without Borders. Doctors Without Borders is an international medical humanitarian organization created by doctors and journalists in France in 1971. Today they provide independent, impartial assistance in more than 60 countries to people whose survival is threatened by violence, neglect, or catastrophe, primarily due to armed conflict, epidemics, malnutrition, exclusion from health care, or natural disasters. In 1999, they received the Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts. And just so you guys know, during this game, if you donate $5 or more, you are entered in for a chance to win a Splinter Face Perler, actually made by Mecha Richter, one of the gentlemen who j ran the previous game. And speaking of prizes, you can still get in to win the grand prize. If at any point throughout the marathon, you donate a total of $35 or more, 
you are entered in for a chance to win a bundle including a Wii U and a 3DS XL. And if you d donate up to $105, you will be entered in for three chances. There we go. 